A surprise for a woman in Santa Monica when she got out of her car at a gas station. Someone grabbed her purse from the passenger seat and then took off. It happened at a gas station on Lincoln Boulevard, not far from the 10 freeway. CBS 2's Greg Bill shows us the security video of the crime in action. Security camera video shows Bonnie Bennett's getting some gas and getting fleeced at the same time. It happened within seconds. Don't know what she spent on the gas, but I do know how much she spent to replace the key fob for her car and change the locks on her house. $1,000. Watch this. This woman opens her door, opens Bennett's door, grabs her purse, and takes off. Felt like she'd probably done it before. It was obvious the thief was just guessing Bennett's purse was on the passenger seat, and she was right. What we've noticed is women tend to naturally put their purse in the passenger seat and then get out of the car. Me, I tend to put my phone in the passenger seat and get out of the car. Phones, purses, there for the taking. I leave it in my car. Passenger seat? Yeah. A woman tend to just keep their purses, like their windows open and their purses on the passenger side. Sounds like it's probably a problem. It is. Same gas station, World Oil on Lincoln and Michigan in Santa Monica. They don't want their customers getting ripped off. They showed us this, another drive-by purse snatch caught on security camera. Many women we spoke with are already taking steps to protect purses and phones. I leave it in the front seat, but I take my keys out with me usually and then lock my car. I lock it in the car and I hide it under something. I actually hold my wallet with me. So I usually don't leave my belongings in the car. I usually put it in the trunk. As for Bonnie Bennett's... I'm already putting my purse in a different spot and, and just sharing with other women. By the way, Santa Monica PD responded quickly to this and have this security camera video, which we understand has a good shot of this car's license number. In Santa Monica, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.